Hello world and welcome to FTL Faster Than Light. This is an amazing indie pixel art inspired space exploration combat fighting exploration game. I think I said exploration more than once. Anyway, this is an amazing game where, as I said, you explore through space, uh, you fight people, you get money, you upgrade your ship, and at the end there's a giant boss who is very difficult. And so the main goal is to try and get to the end and defeat the boss without dying along the way. And so today, we're going to be playing as one, one of the m many ships. I'm going to be choosing the Stealth Cruiser Type C. So if you look at all the ships, there's many different kinds of ships, but there's also different variants of types of ships. So there's every ship has a B variant. Oops. Every ship has a B variant that you can kind of go through. And many of the ships have a C variant. And each of them have to be unlocked uh, in their own ways. And the ships themselves have to be locked. You only start off with this ship. This is the only ship you start off with. But I've unlocked them all. Because I've been playing this game for a long time. And I really enjoy it. And if you look, this is the last uh, ship I need to beat the boss with. Until I've beaten the boss with every type of ship. So my goal is to get to the end and not die. So, without further ado, let us begin. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebels can catch up. So we're the Federation, and we're being chased by the rebels. And so, when you jump, you can jump from star to star, uh, or node to node instantly. Uh, using our FTL drive and so that is very important to get into where we need to go but when we get there there may be a ship that wants to attack us so we have all these other systems to attack and defend we have over here we have our weapons manned by our uh, slug crew member we have drones which will hopefully protect us we have our engines which we need to jump but it also will help us avoid attacks this is doors over here. This is the clone bay, so if any of our crew die, uh, under normal circumstances, as long as the, this system is powered up, it will be able to create a clone of our crew, so we don't have to have anyone die. This is oxygen. If we turn off the oxygen by right-clicking, uh, if you look up here in the um, upper left, you can see the oxygen starting to drop. So we are using up oxygen. And so that is not good, so we're going to want to keep the oxygen powered up. And over here we have the weapons, so if we turn power up the weapons, then we can use them and attack. And we only have so much power to use at any one time, so I can't power up everything on my ship. I'm out of power, so I can't use any of my drones right now. So, one big system I'm missing that most ships have is a shield. And so, to combat that, there's a drone which will generate a super shield. And so, it's very slow. So we're just going to jump to this, and we're going to see if we get attacked. Alright. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free. Uh, I only have three crew members. I'm not interested in giving up any of them. Nope. So now they're going to attack us. And... So, as I can see what systems they have. And because I have a slug crew member, I can see where they are. And so I can see they have a rock crew member, a human, and, a, uh, and an NG. And each of the different crew members have different abilities. So the rock crew... So rock crew members are very strong and are resistant to um, being burned. They can't be burned, but they're very slow. Slugs can't, uh, they can see where other people are, and humans are really good at learning skills. If you have someone on a skill, they'll learn it. So he's uh, our, currently our pilot, and so he'll get better at uh, being a pilot over time. And he learns how to be a pilot faster. Right now, we are about to get attacked by the ship, and I can hit play and pause 
by hitting the space bar. And so the noise is one of the enemy crew teleporting on my ship. So we've got to kill them as fast as possible. So I'm going to power this up. Hopefully this will protect us. It probably won't. Alright. So what happened is and the enemy... So what happened is the enemy crew member teleported in into our, our the room with our pilot in it. Now I'm going to stop him by moving other crew members in to help take him out. In the meantime, I'm going to try and take out his weapons. Alright. Ooh, this is really small beam. Alright, so he, his weapons took out my room, uh, my helm, but I was able to do damage to his shields and to his weapons. So I'm going to continue to do damage to his weapons. Oh, this is perfect. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. So the slave ship is offering us a crew member in an attempt to not destroy them, because now their weapons are completely destroyed, so they can't attack us. And I really want a mantis, because it'll help protect us if we get boarded in the future. So I will accept their uh, surrender. So, I'm gonna put you on... Might as well just put you on the doors system. Let us continue. Let's see. Hmm. Just gonna see what they have at the store. Ooh. So that's what I want. I want shields. They're really expensive to both buy and to power up. But they're really, really, really important. So we're gonna want that as soon as possible. And this is crew. These are augmentations, which will boost the ability of my ship. For example, this one will make my weapons shoot faster. And so that's good, but I don't have the money. And so this is the money. It's scrap. So right now I have 30 scrap. This ability to make my weapons shoot faster is worth 40 scrap. So I can't really buy anything because I have no money. So I kind of wasted one jump trying to get to the store. But I just had to check to see if they had anything. Small platform orbits this beacon. It looks like a refueling station of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Alright. Well, I would like some fuel, so that would be really nice. The platform seems to be malfunctioning and could ignite at any moment. Um, Alright, so if it's exploding, we need to get away because I don't want to damage our ship. Pull away from the station. After a short time, a few silent explosions cause the depressurized tanks to implode. So it completely exploded, and if we had tried to refuel, we probably would have destroyed the ship, or at least damaged it. So good thing we didn't do that. Now one thing that's unique about this ship is that I have an augment that lets me learn about where I'm about to jump to much more than I normally so normally be able to. So this, all of these have a caution sign, which means that when I jump there, there's going to be someone there that wants to attack me. And that's both good and bad, because when I, when I defeat them, I get money, I get potentially get crew, I, get, I potentially get weapons and augments and all the things that I need to improve my ship. But I could potentially take damage, lose my, lose my crew members, and lose my entire ship. And I would fail the mission, and I would die, and I would have to start over. So let's not die. Alright, this is another slaver. We are not going to give any of our crew over to the slavers. We're instead, we're just going to attack them as soon as we can. So as soon as this mini beam is charged up, I'm going to shoot their shields down. And then take, attack their weapons. Alright, shields down, attack the weapons. And hit the engines and the shields along the way. There they go. So now their shields are completely destroyed, their engines and their weapons. So they can't really do anything right now, so I can just keep attacking them. They really just can't do anything. It's trying to get away, but it doesn't have any engines, and it's been destroyed. The slave ship was destroyed, 
and won't continue our evil trade, but many lives are probably lost on the ship. So we don't know how many people are on the ship, but we do know that we're able to get two missiles, one drone part, and 30 scram. However, we did take some damage. Uh, we lost our oxygen system, so our oxygen is slowly draining. So we're going to repair that as quickly as we can, so that we don't all suffocate and die. Fortunately, we're no longer in battle, so we have plenty of time, and we really can just focus on getting repaired. It's now repaired, so we can go and power it up. Oxygen level's going up. Crew are in the proper spots. Let us go. An advanced rebel automated ship. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. That means we can get some weapons, so probably some missiles, maybe some fuel, uh, and um, best yet, maybe some scraps. So we're gonna attack the automated ship to try and get it back. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm looking at his weapons. This weapon he has on the ship is a beam weapon, and orbiting is a beam drone. So this is pretty much the worst case scenario that I could have gotten into. Uh, so I have to take on, out his weapons and his, dr uh, his drones as quickly as possible. In the meantime, I'm going to be taking damage. Alright, that's really bad news. But I've been... Uh... Ooh, actually, here. If I depower my clone bay, I, I still... I just, my clone... My drone bay has been damaged, so I can't power up the drone that generates the shield. But, I still can power up this combat drone, or this anti-combat drone, which will fly around the ship and shoot this drone that is attacking my ship. In the meantime, I sent two of my crew members to repair it. My weapons are still charging up, and once I charged up, I can attack his ship. So let's go. Alright, so he stunned the enemy drone, but before it was able to happen, he shot, damaged my ship, and started a fire. So I gotta try and repair this room quickly and then put out the fire. But I can also open these doors to let all the oxygen out of this room and the room with the fire in it, which will be able to suffocate it. But that will make it dangerous for my crew to go in there, so I gotta be very careful. But my weapons are about to uh, fire up, so I'm gonna get ready and fire. There we go, fire. All right, his weapons are damaged, and his drones are damaged. So I am in a good, good spot. Alright, there we go, just one more hit, and he's gone, there we go, he's able to repair the ship, you salvage what you can from the broken ship, the station is a storage site for valuable resources, you salvage everything, alright, so we took a little bit of damage, but we were able to get plenty of resources that were very valuable to us. Now I'm saving up all my money to buy some shields because if I had even one layer of shields uh, he wouldn't have been able to do any damage to me because his beam weapons wouldn't have been able to go through my shields. So I just spent up a lot of drone parts to protect my ship but I was, I was able to get a bunch of stuff from it. So this is a game a lot of, uh, a game of economics. You have to look at what you have to spend and what you have to gain. At first it appears you've arrived at an empty system, but a ship appears. Aha! I am the Jed Pirate Duca! Prepare to die! Continue. Alright. I intentionally turned off my oxygen in, hope, in the hopes that this battle won't last very long. Because I want to avoid damage to my ship. Alright. Oh, okay. So here's what happened. The drone generated a shield. And one of his shots hit the shield. And the other shot missed. And the more... The better my pilot is, the more power I put into my uh, engines, and the better people have many the engines, the more likely my uh, the enemy is to miss. So right now, the chance of my enemy missing is 25%. Now this doesn't apply to beam weapons. This only applies to enemies uh, to weapons that get shot out from their weapons. So, or the, or maybe a combat drone. But basically, if there if something's firing at my ship that isn't a beam. I can avoid it, uh, and I can increase my chance by upgrading my, basically upgrading my engines. But I'm going to try and just damage this ship as much as possible. There we go. And 
Hopefully I can generate some shield before his weapon attacks. Nope. Oh, that's not good. Alright, let's take out the shield. And take him- took him out. Ship explodes and I get a bunch of resources. Alright, so here's a problem. When he hit my oxygen room, every once in a while there's a chance that it can breach the room, which means that it will leave a giant hole in the room. You get out of there. And this hole will cause oxygen to leak through. However, the room that it hit was the room with the oxygen in it. And my mantis... My mantis is about to die. But fortunately, I have a clone bay. And so, you get out of there. The clone bay will make a clone of him, so right now he's being cloned. So the oxygen room is going to generate oxygen. And the clone bay is going to clone. And my defense drone, my shield drone, is going to generate a shield. But I don't need it anymore. And I almost have enough to buy a shield, so if I can get just a little bit more money and find a store, I should be able to get the shield. Alright. Now, he has a beam weapon, I'm assuming he's going to have a beam drone, so I'm not going to risk attacking him, I'm just going to scrap it. There we go. And jump. Soon after arriving in the system, you're hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run to each other. Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. And they're attacking us. So let's get that shield drone out as quickly as possible and start attacking his shield and his weapons. So just as soon as my B-beam's ready. Alright. Oh, I can't hit the oxygen room. You made your point. We are beaten. Take this and leave us to our shame. So I have a choice between accepting what they have to give us, or killing them and maybe getting more. Now, it is fuel, which I need, a drone part, which I need, and scrap, which I need. So I think it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good offer, so I'm going to take it. Alright, here you help them repair the engines, and as soon as engines are repaired, let us get out of here. Alright, engines repaired, let's get out of here. Distress. But I know, using my sensors, that it's probably a trap. It's probably just someone put up their chest beacon in an attempt to lead us into a trap. Now fortunately, I know that this, because it has the blue circle around it, it's a nebula. Which nebulas messes, mess with, with the sensors. But I don't have sensors. But every once in a while there's a chance that there will be an ion storm, which would mean I can only use half of the power. Which is very bad, it means I can't even power my weapons. If I also have my, um, and my oxygen and engines and shield drone running, so that's very bad. But because I have long-range scanners, I know that there isn't an ice storm there. So I'm gonna go to this distress beacon, hop here, and then on the way back hit the exit. Ah, I knew someone would fall into a dastardly trap. It appears that this distress beacon was nothing more than deep. Yeah, but we knew it was a decoy before coming in. So, it didn't really fool us, just we wanted to kill you and take money. Alright, there we go, I missed. And let's see how many rooms we can hit. So the beam does damage to every room that it hits. So right now it's hitting three rooms, so it's going to do one damage to each room. And, and so the damage will apply to the hull and to the system itself. So right now his weapons are damaged, his shields are damaged and resist. Now it's a rock ship. Uh, so each of the classes have different abilities. As I said, the rock are very tough, but they're slow. And the rock ship also is very tough, but slow. And so one of the abilities the rock ship has is to resist attacks. But it's a very low chance, so this is actually kind of unfortunate that I had to deal with this. But I'm just going to continue to do damage to his key systems. It's trying to get away, but it's dead. All right. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial amount of useful scrap material. So, all things I need, and an ion intruder drone. So that may be useful. One second, I hear fire somewhere in my ship. So that means I need to find where it is. Is it here? This must be here then. There it is. So, 
Another ability of the slugs is that they can see in any room adjacent to them. And I could hear the fire, but I could see there's no fire in any of my systems normally. If uh, there was a fire in the drone system, there'd be a little fire symbol above it. This isn't the drone, this is the doors. But it's the same thing. So if there's a fire in the drone system, there'd be a little fire symbol. But there isn't. And so I'm going to try and drain it out. I'm going to bring these rock over here. And just drain. Wait for the room to completely lose all its oxygen. Then, once it does, I'm going to let it drain the room with the fire in it. Alright, I don't hear the fire anymore. Close it up. Let the oxygen fill back into the room. Everyone go back to their spots. Well, Well, that's all the time we have for today. Next time, we'll continue our mission and attempt to take on the Rebel Fleet. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion for a future video, leave a comment below. And I will see you next time.